the equipment that Jill McGregor has been looking after for NASA is disappearing. It's been sad to sit in my office window up on the second floor and watch everything just kind of get picked away um, until the, the, the trainers are barely recognizable, yeah. like what they were before. Yeah. After the space shuttle retired in 2011, museums have began to acquire some valuable exhibits from Jill's facility. The Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility houses some of NASA's key trainers used to prepare astronauts before their shuttle missions. Soon, the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, will be receiving a crew compartment trainer known as CCT-1 that prepared astronauts for more than 100 space missions. It's exciting too to be part of a big project. It's been logistically really challenging for everybody. Even though CCT-1 wasn't actually built to fly astronauts, NASA was still able to put it in the air on their Super Guppy aircraft to get it from California to the mock-up facility at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where everybody thought it would have a permanent house. A lot of the, the engineering drawings about what is on the inside of that structure have uh, disappeared. Nobody ever thought that we would be flying this thing again, so they didn't keep it. And, and so it's, it's more challenging than I would have even expected. When I first came onto this project, I had no idea what was involved. What's involved is first figuring out how to lift the CCT, get it on a truck, drive it miles away to Ellington Field where the Super Guppy is, then comes the hard part finding a way to safely secure it in the aircraft for its journey from Texas to Ohio. And that's making it sound simple. Luckily, NASA's known for having the people to fix much greater dilemmas. Even though it's sad to see the pieces leave, it, it'll be neat to, to A, know that it's going to a very good home, and also um, know that we, we worked so hard to get it there safely. And so it's neat that you're going to have that piece of history right there for, for the public to just go see whenever they want. When it arrives later this summer, the CCT will add a whole new aspect to the museum's already colorful array of exhibits. The museum eventually plans to expand and build a new hangar for all of its spacecraft, where CCT-1 will become a mock-up of an entire space shuttle. Reporting for Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Stephen Conklin.